Procopyl, Redensil, and Capixil, three relatively new medications in hair loss treatment. They are based on natural ingredients and have no side effects, but are they as good as well-known minoxidil? Hey guys, my name is Ani, a trichologist and hair transplant specialist, and in this video we are comparing minoxidil to these three medications in terms of efficiency. Also, before I get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you have not already. Also, tap that notification bell so you don't miss out of any future videos. I would really appreciate it. Before we compare these three medications to minoxidil, let's say a few words about them. The first on this list is Procopil. It's a relatively newer formula that is a natural solution made of ingredients found in citrus and olive trees. It's known to strengthen the hair follicle and prevent hair loss. Some companies claim that it can boost hair growth by up to 121%. Procopil is a natural DHT blocker. It prevents the effects of DHT on the hair follicles and increases blood flow to the scalp. The next one is Redensil. It's a synergistic blend of four molecules that activates the division of hair follicle stem cells but maintains their differentiation properties. It's the first year Kia cosmetic active in base of regenerative medicine researches. It gives better results than a surgical procedure for hair transplant in 84 days. That's what they say sounds really promising. And the last on the list is Capixil. It's a blend of a peptide, acetyl tetrapeptide 3, and extract of red clover. It is a gentle emollient that hydrates the scalp to stimulate natural hair growth. Some clinical results prove a significant decrease in hair loss effects and increase in hair regrowth. But the efficiency of this medication is still not sufficiently investigated. Now let's compare these medications to minoxidil. A relatively new study on this subject has been conducted by Baker State Hospital in Istanbul in 2019. A total of 120 patients with the boldness stage from 2 to 5 according to Norvo scale were included in this study. This means that the study is relatively new and the number of participants is quite wide to trust these results. What was the objective of the study? Well, most men use minoxidil against hair loss. Having positive outcomes, minoxidil also has some side effects. Briefly said, the study aims to compare the safety and effectiveness of alternative treatments, in this case Redensil, Capixil and Procopil to 5% tropical minoxidil. The core idea behind the study was that it combines these three medications as all of them contain unique components needed for hair growth. The study did not investigate them separately. The mix of these three medications gave them a more potent formula. I won't dive deeper into the details of this study. You can read about it using the link in the description. So let's move on to the results. The researcher evaluation shows significantly better recovery in the group treated with a Procopil Redensil Capixil mixture than in the group that received minoxidil treatment. Minoxidil group got 25.5% and the mixture group 64.7%. Unfortunately, there are no large-scale studies separately investigating the efficiency of Redensil, Capixil or Procopil. Even though the research discussed in this video does not have a large scale, it still has promising data. And therefore, we can conclude that the combination of these three botanical remedies might have a better outcome in your hair restoration journey than with such potent medication as minoxidil. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you have not already. My name is Annie. I will see you next time.